go. Hey guys, welcome back to KRT Life. KRT Life with a Y. Like, Ooh. share, subscribe, all those stuff that we always, uh, I can't talk, that we always ask you to do. We really appreciate it. So, new update. You guys saw a cool tarp and how it saved us the whole last night of sitting outside and having a fire and stuff. Well, um, we got a call today saying that it is not allowed because it's too big and it cannot be tied to the trees because they're trying to preserve the, I guess, the forest, the woods, whatever, trees. So we have to take it down and we have to finagle something else. But thankfully we have two trucks, so uh, time to engineer something. You see what I'm saying? You see what I'm saying? Watch my technique. You see what I'm saying? Don't nobody chop wood like me, Reza. Nope. <laughs> okay, time for an update. Wood chop. His brother Miss chops some wood. Uh oh, okay. Ooh, I have a thing here. Here I stand. Uncle Mitch chops. Yeah. Where my hammock once stood. So with this sharp ass axe. I'm gonna chop all the man's wood. <laughs> there you go, Paul Bunyan. With the monologue, I like it. <laughs> all right, so as I told you guys, we had to reconfigure our campsite because we cannot attach anything to the trees or any poles as I guess put in by the campground. And it was supposed to rain, but now it isn't anymore, of course. But anyway, we figure out the new construction. Let me show you real quick. So the truck has a slightly different location now. We attach certain points on top of the truck. And then the other point is attached to another truck. So we pull them apart to make sure we have tension. We have one, two, three pieces, a three corner that are staked uh -huh, uh -huh. Yep. to create a lower point so the water drips. One, still attached to the tree, but nobody can see it. But anyway, we relocated our little tent over the fire so that covered and that should be good to go. This is a little dark, but. Anyway, so the truck still opens back up and we still have our tailgate, our charging station and light and whatever else we need. We moved the table a little bit. We got two curtain rods, the bathroom curtain rods, and we actually were going to use them for our tent to um, raise some of the pieces so the water doesn't collect. So we kind of would try to push the water, but we had to reconfigure and use them for something else. But now they just have a tension against our tarp in two really spots wet. and holding it up so it's the highest point and everything else is... Almost like a traveling circus. Yeah, it's literally like a pavilion at this point. So, mm -hmm. of course we have our starting cooking, we have our cooler, we have our food, we have our kitchen supplies. Uh, we all exhausted, we haven't had lunch, so coffee it is again. About to drink and we already have our fire going because we got better coals and better lighter fluid. So this is, I guess, a little update, and now we're just going to start cooking this anniversary dinner. Can we do anything else today? Oh, by the way, uh, Mission okay. Laundry is aborted. Yes. Uh -huh. We just didn't have no time to even figure out, so uh, laundry is going to be tomorrow. What else today? We just went and ran the errand because we got a couple of things. Obviously, we got attention rods, and then we got the lighter fluid and coals. Well, the curveball is we're reconfiguring the whole camp, that's I said earlier. They called me and said that we cannot do that. So now we know. So our brother Mitch is going to have to reconfigure his sleeping pot spot as well today because he no longer has a hammock to sleep in. So we're probably going to have to get him sleep in the truck and test that out too. Before we go off grid completely, we're gonna know and figure out all of our possible solutions for future. But there it goes. All right, fellow explorers, here we are at Camp Excellent, Camp Awesome, Awesome, Camp Awesome. <laughs> Excellent is the next stop. Yes, Camp Awesome. And even though we had to do all that rearranging, we still managed to make dinner tonight in a decent time. We're learning. We're learning. So it is right now, uh, what time is it? 
Oh, let me stop the timer for our chicken. It is now 18.37. Yay, so we made dinner before 10 o'clock, which yes. is great when you're in the middle of the woods. We want to yeah. hang out. I it's still, still wanna, light out. Yeah, and I still want to try that dessert. Yep. Sis cooked her ass off. Yep, everything came out good. Look at this beautiful food. We got some Cornish hens. We got some patatos and vegetables. We got coffee. We got a hookah over yonder. We got fruits. We ate most of the foods already. We have charge power station. Power station over yonder. Gear station. Yep. And uh, yeah, we even got like laundry over here drying. Look at that. So yeah, we adapted and we overcame again. Again. Against all officers. A lot officers. faster today. A lot faster. A lot faster. But it did take some thinking because we had yes. we couldn't use the trees. We had to tie everything to the cars and to the ground. Okay. So we're just going through a list of things that we need to get. Uh, as we continue in our journey of learning how to camp. Mm -hmm. But I don't think we're doing bad. I think we're doing great. Right. Hey guys, welcome back. So I think I realized that we never really showed you <laughs> our anniversary dinner that I cooked yesterday, but I have a couple of IG stories that I can figure out how to throw them on there. But anyway, um, we went to sleep yesterday at decent time. We actually, because everything was done in decent time, we were able to just relax and sit by a fire for a while instead of rushing through. We mostly packed because we're leaving today in about two hours. But, so this is what happened last night. Last night was the biggest storm since we've been here. It was really raining pretty hard for quite some time in the middle of the night. And our whole annex. So that rod bent right there, and I don't know if it broke or just bent, right? Yeah, it's, it's bent, but it's, bent, it's broken. Yeah. It won't be, it's not so the whole thing collapsed, and the water kind of went everywhere because this is water resistant. The walls are water resistant, but they're not waterproof, and then you still have a net and the zippers, so it still can come through that as well sometimes. So, yeah, now we have to figure out a solution to get this fixed or replaced which we already have an idea and we're gonna try to do it on the way to the next camp because we are moving camps we're in the middle of packing everything else up I just made coffee so we're gonna have a nice and relaxing cup of coffee in a few minutes and then pack up and be on our way to the next one yep. but anyway for this one I think this is it and we're gonna see you to the next vlog but this is KRT life KRT life with the Y thank you for watching let us know if you're interested in seeing something else in our camp or you have any questions or whatever that might be we always welcome any comments and we'll see you soon peace wow today we managed to boil water look at that i figured out so many fire hacks and so many so many shortcuts to uh make a fire really fast we're learning yeah, I mean, we've been cooking, we just weren't able to boil water before. But now we're boiling water. <laughs> we're learning. <laughs>